Hi, this is Faizan and this is a video tutorial on discussing the relationship between the motor speed and the frequency and number of poles. As we have seen that the motor speed is directly proportional to the applied frequency and inversely proportional to the number of poles. So <clears throat> in order to explain this, I first draw the mechanical architecture of the motor. These are the carbon brushes. This is the commutator. This is the winding. So, and this is the north pole and this is south pole. So, in order to explain this relation, if motor complete one complete mechanical rotation, so how many times it will it shift its poles? That if there are two poles, then it will shift its poles two times. So, for example, if we take, if we draw its graph, and now uh, let's see that. So, uh, in one second, if the motor rotates, com completes its one 360 degree cycle, its complete one rotation in one second, then its frequency will be one hertz. So now, if we add two more poles here, one pole here and one pole here, so the number of poles are increased to four. So now, if in sim similarly in one one second, the mo uh, how many times the poles are shifted now? If there are four number of poles, number of pole number one, pole number two, pole number three, and pole number four. So for one complete rotation, the motor shifts its pole four times. Therefore, this its frequency will be doubled. So for taking my this point, I have made a complete summary of this that if I take constant speed. If I take constant speed and if there are two number of poles, so its frequency will be 1 hertz in one second. If one com it completes one rotation in one second, then its frequency will be 1 hertz. So if we take again constant speed and if we increase the number of poles, 4 poles. So we have seen that its frequency will be doubled, so 2 hertz. So now by this point, so what if 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 I take the frequency constant, we have all the we have know that the. Uh, AC frequency normally always normally of 50 Hertz so now if you take the frequency constant and if we if we increase number of poles if we increase number of poles so the number of poles are increased and if the frequency is constant so the motor will not rapidly move it will slowly 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 change its poles and it's because the frequency is constant here so for my this point idea the speed will be low and again if we take in the frequency constant if, if, if we decrease the poles as so let's suppose only have lifted 
it has only two poles, then your speed will be increased. When there are four poles, frequency is constant, the speed will be slower. And if there are two poles, frequency is constant, the speed the motor rapidly move. So from this assumption, it is easily easily be seen that the motor speed is directly proportional to frequency and inversely proportional to the number of poles. I hope you like my idea and thanks for watching the video and hope hope the best for the upcoming videos in the engineering discussion forum at Sarsa University. Thank you so much.